Hello and welcome to the Philippines. There are new options in Cebu. The new store uh, casino and resort is one of them that is in a soft opening presently. And Il Corso, just down the street from here, Il Corso, uh, which is a bit of a mall, uh, a lot of food choices down there. We're going to run down there after a quick look at the casino and uh, lots going on down there as well, just down the street a little bit. I'll show you where the location is. And uh, this New Star uh, Casino Resort Hotel, I think they've got two hotels. Uh, they are taking reservations for the hotels presently. They've got a uh, big gaming area, although not complete. This is the entrance with the uh, security, the metal detectors and such. This is the entrance there. Not allowed to take pictures or video in the casino area itself. This is a, on the back side, the seaside. This is over by the, uh, over where the hotel entrance will be once they get that entrance uh, all set up. And the hallway going uh, kind of in that direction. Here's a one of, one of I think, about three present uh, restaurants, the Philly, uh, featuring Filipino type food. This is a cafe type area. Uh, offering drinks and sandwiches and such uh, just right here just right inside of the uh, hotel lobby area on the back side now this part is not open yet they're still going to be doing construction perhaps for another year opening up additional uh, parts of the hotel uh, the casino uh, additional shops and uh, here's a look from outside uh, you see the big towers there, the uh, the hotels and the casino, and very interesting place, inter interesting visit. I'm, I've, I lived in Las Vegas for many, many, many years, uh, traveled out of there quite a bit, and uh, so I'm familiar with casinos. This gives you an idea where it is. That is SM Seaside Mall right down there with the big tower there, and Cebu City back there, and the new uh, the new bridge there. So going down the uh, street just a bit to Il Corso, probably less than a kilometer, less than uh, about half a mile from the casino. You can see the casino towers in the background there. There's a big expanding food court and many, many uh, more places open than when I was here just a couple of months ago where I did a video out here. And I did a video about the condominiums uh, over across the street. San Remo by Phil Invest, and this is all owned by Phil Invest, also a big developer in the Philippines, and lots of choices for food out here, and they've expanded. The one place I ate at last time, I didn't see it there, so uh, they may have moved by. I think they've got a place uh, up in La Hoog in Cebu City, but there again is the casino towers in the background, and I'll, I'll show you where it is in relation. To other places later. Uh, they really expand. They've got a Lantau restaurant down here and a big boardwalk type area, big walking area along the sea. I'll show you that. And a building, a couple buildings where they have uh, shopping. They're starting to get more stores in, in those buildings. I'll show you some of that. And interesting, if you're coming from Cebu City, uh, you can't directly enter into these areas. You have to go down and make a U-turn, down maybe another half mile or so, a uh, kilometer or so uh, from this area, going south out of Cebu City, make a U-turn, come back around, and, uh, and then you can enter. Um, some point in time, as the casino and this place uh, continues to draw more and more people, I would suspect that they'll put some sort of a traffic signal in and a way for people left-hand turns so that people can enter the casino because they'll have uh, they'll have thousands of vehicles a day and if they've got to go all the way down to make a u-turn and come back uh, it's going to create a traffic issue and uh, a lot of people this was a sunday family day in the philippines a lot of families down here and I'll show you, they had a late show going on a little later. I'll show you just a little bit of that. A lot of people jog and walk throughout the week. And this is really a long stretch. Um, 
gosh, I'm, I'm guessing it's a mile and a half or so from one end to the other. And there again, more, more food establishments. It's a food court right outside, just north of the actual buildings at Il Corso. So I think, I think this is called like Il Corso food court, something like that. But just a ton of uh, options down here. And I'm really surprised at how it has expanded just in the a couple of months since I've been here. And you can see kind of like the lighthouse down there. And now we're coming upon the buildings here. Uh, we did eat. We ate at a place called Fish. And I'll show you that place. And I, I took a tumble walking on one of their walkways. Uh, they had lights at night kind of into the walkway area. And I was busy filming and not watching where I was stepping. And I think that's included on my video here a little bit later. Uh, so you will see how it is to take a tumble, get back up. I did not hurt myself. Now, I had a brother a couple years younger than me. Here's the, uh, this light show starts, I think, every day, I think every day at 6, 1 at 6, and then every 30 minutes, 6, 6.30, 7, 7.30. Not sure how late they go into the evening, but I had to cut back because of the uh, copyright song there, the, the sound. And anyway, uh, food stands, and now we're closer to the actual building part of Il Corso uh, shopping and restaurant area. And we're going to go inside the building, and you'll see they're just starting to get uh, most of the most of the spaces are not filled yet. Uh, so they're waiting for, I think, now that there's some activity down here. As long as the government doesn't do something stupid like uh, lock down again, uh, restrict travel again. Uh, as long as the government doesn't do that, I think, I think a, lot of, a lot of investors and people are still waiting to see what the government's going to do. There's not a lot of faith in the world's governments about how they, they've handled uh, the, this past two years, done a lot of damage to uh, the economy, to people's livelihoods, and uh, you know, it's a big chance, a big risk, un until you're assured that the government is not going to lock down, put you out of business, essentially, again. Anyway, this is the interior of one of the buildings. There's actually two buildings, separated by a bit of a courtyard. Uh, this is one. And uh, and this is the crowd that gathered for the first. Now the first light show was not as good as the uh, the ones coming up because it wasn't quite dark. It was actually quite light. And watching the gray water against a gray cloudy background did not rain while we were out there. But uh, there's the setup. Uh, about halfway through the the light show, as it started getting darker, then it was was much better. But I would suggest going to the one at seven because it's pretty dark at seven o'clock. This is another one of the restaurants, and the light show is kind of in the uh, over by the other building, kind of a open area, and they've got the lighthouse there. But you can see pretty good. Pretty good uh, bunch of people out here. And uh, the lighthouse, I think I'm going to point the camera. Yeah, there it is. At some point in time, I think they're going to allow people to go up there and get a view. But it's not a very big space, so that would be pretty limited on how many people could go up, how long you could stay up there. I'm guessing there's a city of Cebu uh, rescue boat, I believe. It's worth the travel out here. Uh, if, if you're a gambler or just want to have a good meal, uh, the, the casino or Il Corso out here. Um, now, just over to the left was a place, the Dessert Factory. And they did not. They were about the only place did not have a long waiting line. And I've eaten there several months ago. I had a pretty good burger there. But they've got Filipino food and uh, lots of different choices, not just desserts. And because they're kind of off and away by themselves, um, they did not have a big line, but 
we didn't have to wait at the place called Fish. But we got there about 6.30. But by 7 o'clock, pretty much every place had waiting lines. And the food court down there, there were several places down there had, like Lantau had a long waiting line, uh, even at 6 o'clock, I think. So if you want to get in there, I would suggest that uh, you come a little earlier or just plan on putting your name on the list and waiting. No, didn't seem that people had to wait too long. Now I'm going to trip over one of these lights right about now. Yeah, all right. All right, I did not hurt myself. My brother, I think, I think he broke uh, <clears throat> broke his hip and a few bones, and has to stay off. So he's uh, not going to be able to do much for a couple of weeks at least. And anyway, that really really cool area with the little pools there. They, I think they should have put those lights back a ways and maybe a, a bit of a rail because I'm sure I'm not the only one uh, who has tripped on that. But this is kind of a courtyard area. There was a little burger place just off to the right. And they, as far as CRs, toilets, restrooms, uh, they seem to have an adequate supply for the present situation. And uh, I went in a couple of them, and here's the... A Lapu Lapu, a grouper, my partner had, and I had beef and broccoli. I'm not a big fish eater. I grew up around freshwater lakes, uh, so that's the kind of fish, perch, sunfish, uh, walleye. Um, this fish was okay. It wasn't bad, but uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.